Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the life and times of a United States colored trooper. And we have with us to talk about the life and times of a United States colored trooper, uh, Gary Burke. And uh, not only will you talk about the life and times of a United States colored trooper, uh, Larry, uh, uh, Gary Burke, but you will also give us some information about the real uh, Gary Burke, giving us some information in reference to your background, education, and some of your experiences. And d that would be during the first segment. And after that, we will come back and find you as a United States colored trooper, Gary Burke, and you'll talk about some of your experiences and some of the things that you think our audience might be uh, interested in. But before we get to that part, let's talk about you as an individual and how you became involved in what you were doing. Well, first of all, Dr. Haney, thank you for having me here on your show. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a native Nashvilleian, born and bred, uh, grew up, of course, here in the city. Just always had a passion from history from grade school. Mm -hmm. I remember the first place I went to was the Hermitage, the home of President Andrew Jackson. Mm -hmm. And I knew at that time that I had some kind of passion for history. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. So as I matriculated through the grade schools and junior high and high school, I came to Tennessee State University and I, I met a Dr. James Haney and took his class of history. And from that point on, I've been passionate about history ever since. And I thank you for teaching me that passion, Dr. Haney. We appreciate you, you saying that, uh, Gary. But uh, how did you become involved in a reenactor, as a reenactor? Where did that come from? Well, I tell you, after watching the movie Glory in 1989, um, I just had a passion about where did these brave black men come from? Mm -hmm. And in, in that research, I ran across a couple of gentlemen, a gentleman named Bill Radcliffe, who mm -hmm. was speaking at a library, and a gentleman named Dennis Boggs, who was uh, portraying President Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And when I found them, I knew I had been linked to something special. Mm -hmm. And that group, we've been together ever since. Mm -hmm. So finding those gentlemen on the road already to history, mm -hmm. I joined in mm -hmm. and marched right in with them. Mm -hmm. And in a real sense, you've almost internalized being a trooper in reference to uh, the war and all of those activities that are involved in this. That yes, sir. I, I talk about it like this. When I'm wearing this uniform or if I'm not wearing this uniform, mm -hmm. it's the dignity that those men fought for our lives, mm -hmm. that they paved the way to our freedom. And I owe them everything mm -hmm. that I enjoy today through them and Almighty God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so in a real sense, uh, you are a reenactor, but you, you've internalized so much of it. As a matter of fact, uh, I think I got that experience when you talked about uh, uh, the uh, gentleman who is Abraham Lincoln. I yes, think sir. that I had an opportunity to meet him at uh, the uh, dedication of the Radcliffe statue. And uh, my only impression was that he was literally Mr. Abraham Lincoln. And that's essentially what he told me and, and and I get the impression that that's who you are now you have uh, sort of internalized the this character uh, and now you can tell us a lot of things about it and 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 and, and so uh, the, the the trip to uh, eventually become in to where you are now has been uh, a, 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 a very enjoyable trip it, it appears to me the way where you're telling it now is that is that what you're saying that is so true dr. Haney it is a passion and a privilege all of us who walked this path. I wrote a poem called A Common Road, how mm -hmm. we all walk together to this mm -hmm. common road of history mm -hmm. and that we all gladly and humbly take it. Mm -hmm. And it's humbling to be able to portray our history. It's mm -hmm. humbling to be able to stand up where they lie down mm -hmm. for our mm -hmm. freedom today. And so the Emancipation and Pro Proclamation, all of those things really mean something to you uh, long before you became a reenactor. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. It meant everything mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you, why don't uh, we've got about uh, a minute or so before the uh, end of this uh, first uh, segment, then uh, we want to get into your reenactment. But why don't you start off with uh, by giving us a, a, a sample of what, what we can expect uh, when this segment come to an end and we begin the second segment? Well, I tell you, it's again, it's a passion that we all share together. Mm -hmm. Our group is the 13th United States Colored Troops mm -hmm. Living History Association. Mm -hmm. We even have links to our past history. We have the great-great-grandson of Frederick Douglass, who you just mentioned, mm -hmm. is a member of our group. Mm -hmm. We also have a gentleman named Houston Overton, Jr., mm -hmm. who is also a uh, descendant of the slaves of the uh, Traveler's Rest mm -hmm. uh, plantation of Judge John Overton. Mm -hmm. We also other have others who are linked to history mm -hmm. through the United States Colored Troops. And so I'll probably giving uh, information about how 
the Battle of Nashville and Nashville influences all our lives mm -hmm. through that thread of the Civil War. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, we're, we're going to take a, a short commercial break within the next uh, 30 seconds, and then we'll come back. And, and so you are a part of uh, the uh, 13th United States Colored Trooper. Yes, sir. Troop. Uh, is, mm -hmm. is, that, is that? Living History Association. Uh -huh. We and also have ladies who also are part of our group who interpret as black women, mm -hmm. strong black women mm -hmm. of that day as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, and, and of course, uh, we're going to take this first commercial break and then we'll get back and we'll bring the uh, trooper Burke to our audience this morning. For the next two segments, we'll be able to deal with that. And we'll be back with this uh, with our guests that follow this very...